Well, hey everybody! Today we are on Let's Talk in English on PTS and on the radio. Of course, my name is Gabe, and my name is Andrea. Today we begin a new week in Hualien. Oh, that's right! It's an exciting week, and we have some exciting key words for you right now. The first word is shop. Shop. My car is in the shop. It has a problem. Safe. Safe. Maria doesn't walk alone at night. It isn't safe. Window. Window. Can you please close the window? I am cold. Station. Station. My train leaves the station at five o'clock p.m. Now let's say these keywords together again. The first one is shop, shop, safe, safe, window, window, station, station. And now for today's mission, Eddie. Yeah.、Uh, Eddie,、uh, what's today's mission? Ah,、oh, of course, today's mission. What is today? April. April. Well, it's April seventh. April seventh. Oh, okay, okay, I got it. Today's mission. Where is Grandma's car? Where is Grandma's car? I was looking for Grandma's car. Well, maybe we'll find it in the lesson for today. We have an exciting lesson today, and we're going to learn more right now. Here we go. I'm sorry, I can't take you to Taipei. I know, Grandma. Don't worry, I understand. Your car's in the shop. We know. Yes, and can they fix my baby? I hope so. Your baby? It's just a car. I know, but I love my car. It's my baby. Well, we find out what Grandma's baby is in this conversation. What is Grandma's baby? Well, Grandma's baby is her car. Sometimes we use this word "baby" to talk about something that is special or important to us. That's right. Well, earlier in the conversation, we see another useful phrase. That is the phrase "Don't worry." Patty says, "Don't worry. I understand." If you want someone to just not worry about something, say, "Don't worry." I think Grandma was worried or sad that she couldn't go with them to Taipei. But Patty says, "Grandma, don't worry. I understand why you can't go." That's right, because Grandma's car is in the shop. Hey. That sounds like the answer to today's mission. It is. The question is, where is Grandma's car? Where is Grandma's car? Grandma's car is in the shop, and that's the key word for today. The word shop. Shop. A shop is a place that sells things, or a shop is also a place that. Fixes things like cars. A shop. In our conversation, Grandma's car is in the shop. That means it's at a place where it is being fixed. Here, the shop is a place for cars to be fixed. I can also say, my bike is in the shop. They are fixing it at the shop. Or if you have a problem with your car or bike, you might take it to a shop. Maybe they can find out what's wrong. That's right. What's wrong with your baby? The brakes aren't very good. I can't drive a car without good brakes. That's right. It's not safe. You are going to Taipei, and safety is important. Don't worry, Grandma. The train is safe. The train? I'm so excited.
Well, Gabe is excited about this conversation, and Patty is excited about taking the train. Gabe, why is she excited about that? Well, she probably has not taken a train before, and especially to Taipei. So she is excited. And why does she have to take the train? Well, Grandma's car is in the shop. We find out that her car's brakes aren't very good, and of course, you should not drive a car without good brakes. That's not safe, is it? No, it's not. You can't drive a car without good brakes. That sounds like a good sentence pattern. Well, it is. You can't do something. Without another thing, for example, you can't pass a test without studying very hard. I can't read without my glasses. Where are my glasses? And we can't learn our key word without looking at it together. So let's do that right now. It is safe. Safe. Now, when something is safe. That means there is no danger. If a car has safe brakes, that means the brakes are okay. You are not in danger. And something else that is safe is when you put on your seatbelt when you are in a car. That is a safe thing to do. And taking the train is also safe. Well, we're going to join Patty as she takes a train trip to Taipei. For I can't go with you. I'm sad about that. But I have my English class this week. Grandma, you are a good teacher. Today, Roger can teach you about the train. You can take it to Taipei. <laughs> I can't wait. Patty, get a window seat. The scenery is beautiful. When are you coming back? Tomorrow evening, our train arrives back at Hualien Station around 5:30 p.m. Well, in this conversation, Grandma is sad about something. What is she sad about? Well, she's sad that she can't go with them to Taipei, but Grandma is busy. She has an English class to teach. That's right. And Patty says that Grandma is a good teacher, but Grandma says that Roger will teach Patty all about the trains on the way to Taipei. And Grandma also gives Patty a tip. She tells her something that will make her trip even better. She says, "Patty, get a window seat." That's right. That means get a ticket for a seat next to a window. Now, a window is our key word. Let's look at this word, window. Window. A window is something that you look through to see outside of something. If you are in a train and you sit next to the window, then you can see everything outside the train. A window is like an opening in a wall or on a door or. In a train, so that you can look out. You might have a window in your house, windows in your car. And so, Grandma knows that Patty likes beautiful scenery, so she says to get a window seat. Well, let's look at this next key word. The word is station. Station. A station is a place where buses or trains. Or other vehicles stop a station. At the station, the train stops, and people also get off the train and go on the train at a station. And so their train is going to arrive back at Hualien Station at around 5:30 p.m. Well, is someone going to be there to get them? Well, I'm sure Grandma will be there, right? That's very nice. Word power. This week we're talking about public transportation. Let's ride the MRT. The MRT is a convenient way to travel around Taipei. Some people call the MRT the Taipei Metro. MRT, MRT. 
The MRT uses trains to get people from one place to another. These trains are fast and take people places quickly. Train. Train. To get on the MRT, you need to go to an MRT station. There are many MRT stations in Taipei. Station. Station. To ride on the MRT, you need an MRT card. You can buy the MRT card at the station. Then you can use it to pay for rides on the MRT. Card. Card. If you don't have a card, you can use a token to pay for one ride on the MRT. Token. Token. Wait for your train on the platform. The train will come soon. Be careful. Don't get too close to the edge of the platform. You don't want to fall off. Platform. Platform. At the edge of the platform are the tracks. The train travels on the tracks. 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 Here comes the train. Let's get on. Remember all these words when you ride the MRT, and you'll have word power. Conversation replay. I'm sorry I can't take you to Taipei. I know, Grandma. Don't worry. I understand. Your car's in the shop. We know. Yes, and can they fix my baby? I hope so. Your baby? It's just a car. I know, but I love my car. It's my baby. What's wrong with your baby? The brakes aren't very good. I can't drive a car without good brakes. That's right. It's not safe. You are going to Tai Bay, and safety is important. Don't worry, Grandma. The train is safe. The train? I'm so excited. I can't go with you. I'm sad about that. But I have my English class this week. Grandma, you are a good teacher. Today, Roger can teach you about the train. You can take it to Taipei. <laughs> I can't wait. Patty, get a window seat. The scenery is beautiful. When are you coming back? Tomorrow evening. Our train arrives back at Hualien Station around 5:30 p.m. Calendar phrase. So, Andrea, you have to take a trip. Yes, I'm taking a trip. Oh, well, are you going to Taipei? I am going to Taipei by train. Well, what time does your train leave? What time does my train leave? I'll have to check. Well, good. While you're checking, let's go over today's calendar phrase. It is, "What time does your train leave?" What time does your train leave? So, if your friend is going on a trip somewhere, or your family member is going on a trip, and then you can ask them, "What time does your train leave?" And make sure your friend or family member gets to the train station on time. Right. You do not. You do not want to be late when you are going on a trip. Whether it's on a train or a bus or an airplane. Well, Gabe, we don't want to be late for our calendar phrase skit. Oh, that's right. So let's go. Let's watch it right now. What time does your train leave? What time does your train leave? Hey, Marie, can you drive me to the train station? Sure. What time does your train leave? I'm not sure. Let me check my ticket. So, what time does your train leave? It leaves at two o'clock. Are you sure? Check again. What time does your train leave? My train leaves at two o'clock. Is there a problem? 
Yes, it's already 2.30. You missed your train. What time does your train leave? What time does your train leave? Hey, everybody. Now it's time for the question of the day. And I know the perfect person to ask, Andrea. Person? Uh, who is that? Well, Eddie. He's actually a meerkat. That's right. But... Eddie, can you give us the question? I'm not a person. I'm an animal. Right. Okay, <laughs> yes, you are. Sorry. Okay. Uh, question of the day. Uh, here it is. <clears throat> Do you like buses or trains more? Why? Do you like buses or trains more? Why? I like trains more. Trains are very comfortable, and when you're riding on a train, you can usually see beautiful scenery around you. Hey, that's pretty nice. It's nice when you're sitting on a bus or a train, and there is beautiful scenery, and the view is great. That's true. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining us here today here on this wonderful program, Let's Talk in English. We're on PTS and the radio. Where riding in buses and trains can be fun. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.